क्लास एट क्लास आज हम कर रहे हैं अब मैथ्स की क्लास एट क्लास तो मैथ्स में हम निकाला था डाटा हैंडलिंग डेटा हैंडलिंग के डीजी क्लासेस में सबसे पहले हम इंट्रोडक्शन ऑफ स्टेटिस्टिक्स देखेंगे बेटा देखिए अब इसको क्लियरली ओके बच्चे इंट्रोडक्शन ऑफ स्टेटिस्टिक्स Every company aims to sell the maximum number of units of its products. But how does a company decide how many units to manufacture? For example, how will a car manufacturing company know how many cars to produce? The number of cars to be produced is calculated using statistical methods. Records are maintained for the number of cars sold periodically. This recorded information is analyzed using statistical methods and necessary predictions are made. Therefore, statistics is an important subject of study and application. We define statistics as the science of the collection, classification, analysis and interpretation of data in any field of inquiry. Let's study this subject in detail. sales figures given here such information or set of facts and numerical figures is called the data data forms the core of any statistical exercise the data given in this case will help the company estimate future sales figures the data collected by an investigator with a definite plan in mind is known as primary data The data that is not originally collected but is obtained from published or unpublished sources is known as secondary data. After collecting or obtaining the data, it has to be presented in a meaningful form which is easily understood and gives the main features at a glance. Before we learn how to present the data, let us quickly understand a few terms related to it. Look at the sales figures we saw earlier. This is the original form in which the data was obtained. Any data obtained in the original form is called raw data. The same data when arranged in an ascending or descending order of magnitude is called an array. In the data, the difference between the highest value and the lowest value is called the range of the data. Now look at this data. These are the weekly sales figures for the same company. Observe that the number of cars sold is the same for several weeks. The number of times or how frequently a certain value occurs is called its frequency. For example, the number 47 occurs 12 times. Hence, its frequency is 12. This means that there are 12 weeks during which 47 cars were sold in each week. Let's find the frequency of all the numbers in the given data. We will note the frequency of each number and prepare a table as shown here. In this type of table, individual values and their frequencies are presented. Such a table is called an ungrouped frequency distribution table or a frequency distribution table. This is because each value of the data is considered individually and the frequency of each value is noted. Later, we will learn how to group the values of the data and form a frequency distribution table. Now, let's look at the daily sales figures of the company for the month of January 2008. We will now present this data in an ungrouped frequency distribution table. These are the numbers appearing in the data. This is the ungrouped frequency distribution table giving the daily sales for the month of January 2008. We've just learned how to prepare a frequency distribution table of daily sales for 31 days. Now, Suppose the daily sales were recorded for the first quarter of the year 2008. 
The number of days in the quarter was 91. But how can you count the frequency when the number of days is as large as 91? Let's find out. To present such a large amount of data, it is convenient to condense it into groups as shown here. This is because the data contains numbers from 0 to 9. Then for each number we make a tally mark against the group it belongs to. A tally mark is a small vertical line used to mark or represent an observation. For example, the number 5 belongs to the group 3 to 5, and the number 8 belongs to the group 6 to 8. Observe that this is also a frequency distribution table. In this table we have formed groups to note the frequencies. The data presented in this form is called a grouped frequency distribution table. Now, let's learn a few terms related to the grouped frequency distribution table. While tabulating the frequencies for a large number of data, we first organize it into groups. Each of these groups is called a class interval. Thus, 0 to 2, 3 to 5, 6 to 8, and 9 to 11 are all class intervals. The class intervals are formed by observing the data and deciding on the size of a class interval. The size of a class interval is called class size or class width. It is the difference between the highest and the lowest value. Beta, what is this? You have prepared a table. If we will see something, if we will see it on the table, 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 if we will see it on तो ऐसे ही हम स्टैटिस्टिक्स में टेबल्स तैयार करके ही सॉल्व करते हैं क्वेश्चंस को ओके बेटा जरा ध्यान से देखिए डबल फॉर एग्जांपल हियर द क्लास साइज इज 5 माइनस 3 व्हिच इज 2 ऑब्जर्व दैट द साइज ऑफ ऑल क्लास इंटरवल्स इज द सेम in a class interval, the lowest value or the left-hand value is called the lower class limit. And the highest value or the right-hand value is called the upper class limit. For example, in the class interval 6 to 8, 6 is the lower class limit and 8 is the upper class limit. Now observe this frequency distribution table. Here, the upper limit of a class interval is the lower limit of its subsequent class interval. Such a frequency distribution is called a continuous frequency distribution table. There are two types of distributions. The first one is called an inclusive type frequency distribution. In the inclusive type, the upper limit of a class interval is included in the interval. The second type of distribution is called the exclusive type frequency distribution. In the exclusive type, the upper limit of a class interval is not included in the class interval. For example, the value 6 is not included in the interval 4 to 6. It is included in the next interval, which is 6 to 8. After collecting or obtaining the data, it has to be presented in a meaningful form which is easily understood and gives the main features at a glance. Before we learn how to present the data, let us quickly understand a few terms related to it. Look at the sales figures we saw earlier. This is the original form in which the data was obtained. Any data obtained in the original form is called raw data. The same data when arranged in an ascending or descending order of magnitude is called an array. In the data, the difference between the highest value and the lowest value is called the range of the data. Now look at this data. These are the weekly sales figures for the same company. Observe that the number of cars sold is the same for several weeks. The number of times or how frequently a certain value occurs is called its frequency. For example, the number 47 occurs 12 times. 
hence its frequency is 12. This means that there are 12 weeks during which 47 cars were sold in each week. Let's find the frequency of all the numbers in the given data. We will note the frequency of each number and prepare a table as shown here. In this type of table, individual values and their frequencies are presented. Such a table is called an ungrouped frequency distribution table or a frequency distribution table. This is because each value of the data is considered individually and the frequency of each value is noted. Later, we will learn how to group the values of the data and form a frequency distribution table. Now, let's look at the daily sales figures of the company for the month of January 2008. We will now present this data in an ungrouped frequency distribution table. These are the numbers appearing in the data. This is the ungrouped frequency distribution table giving the daily sales for the month of January 2008. We've just learned how to prepare a frequency distribution table of daily sales for 31 days. Now, suppose the daily sales were recorded for the first quarter of the year 2008. The number of days in the quarter was 91. But how can you count the frequency when the number of days is as large as 91? Let's find out. To present such a large amount of data, it is convenient to condense it into groups as shown here. This is because the data contains numbers from 0 to 9. Then for each number we make a tally mark against the group it belongs to. A tally mark is a small vertical line used to mark or represent an observation. For example, the number 5 belongs to the group 3 to 5, and the number 8 belongs to the group 6 to 8. Observe that this is also a frequency distribution table. In this table we have formed groups to note the frequencies. The data presented in this form is called a grouped frequency distribution table. Now, let's learn a few terms related to the grouped frequency distribution table. While tabulating the frequencies for a large number of data, we first organize it into groups. Okay, my dear. Frequency is called a table. Aapko di jayegi. Okay, in that table, mein... 47 kit man liya ki 47 0 to 2 time 0 to 2 time ke andar values kitni sahel ho rahi hai 0 values 1 values 2 jitni bhi ho rahi hai wo frequency kehlayegi man lijiye ek table hai table mein 47 kafi time de diya aapko 6 7 baar de diya to frequency uski ho gayi 6 6 baar 47 de diya 6 time 47 de diya to 47 ki frequency aa gayi aapki 6 उसी तरीके से आ, वन की फ्रीक्वेंसी पूछेंगे तो वन उस जो एक आपको वैल्यूज दे रखे होंगे वो कितने टाइम आया है वन तो वो लिखना है दैट इज नोन एज फ्रीक्वेंसीज ओके बेटा दिस इज कॉल्ड द क्लास इंटरवल लास्ट 0 टू 2 3 टू 5 6 टू 8 एंड 9 टू 11 are all class intervals. The class intervals are formed by observing the data and deciding on the size of a class interval. The size of a class interval is called class size or class width. It is the difference between the highest and the lowest value of a class interval. For example, क्लास इंटरवल क्लास इंटरवल क्या होता है बेटा जब हम कोई टेबल बनाते हैं तो क्लास इंटरवल का मतलब होता है कि अब आप बहुत सारे आप आपको वैल्यूज दे रखे हैं अब आप कैसे उसको डिवाइड करेंगे तो जैसे अब यहां की बात है बेटा 0 to 2 दे रखा है अब आप ऐसे करिए बहुत सारे में 0 to 2 जितने भी हैं वैल्यूज वो वाले लिखते हैं हम फिर उसके बाद 3 to 5 फिर उसको थोड़े-थोड़े टाइम के बाद या फिर आप ऐसे कीजिए 0 to 5 5 to 10, 10 to 15, 15 to 20, 5, 5, 8, 10, 10 का difference या 2, 2 का difference जो होता है या हम जो भी difference में बनाते हैं values को रखते हैं उनके अंदर आने वाली values लिखते हैं उसके बीच में जितनी भी values आती हैं वो हम उनको लिखते हैं तो वो होता है class interval ओके बेटा, class interval
Here, the class size is 5 minus 3, which is 2. Observe that the size of all class intervals is the same. In a class interval, the lowest value or the left-hand value is called the lower class limit. And the highest value or the right-hand value is called the upper class limit. For example, in the class interval 6 to 8, 6 is the lower Okay, beta. So, हम क्लास इंटरवल बनाते हैं तो क्लास इंटरवल में लोअर और अपर वैल्यू होती है लेफ्ट हैंड साइड में तो लोअर वैल्यू दिखाते हैं हम और राइट right हैंड साइड में हायर वैल्यूज दिखाते हैं लोअर वैल्यू और हायर वैल्यू लेफ्ट हैंड साइड में लोअर वैल्यू और राइट हैंड साइड में अपर वैल्यूज दिखाते हैं जैसे बेटा ये आपकी डेली की सेल्स हैं 0 to 2 कितनी सेल्स हुई हैं तो लेफ्ट हैंड साइड में जीरो है तो ये लोअर हो गई और राइट हैंड साइड में टू है तो ये अपर वैल्यू आपकी कहलाएगी ओके बेटा देखिए लोअर वैल्यू एंड अपर वैल्यू क्लास लिमिट एंड एट इज द अपर क्लास लिमिट नाउ ऑब्जर्व दिस फ्रीक्वेंसी डिस्ट्रीब्यूशन टेबल हियर द अपर लिमिट ऑफ अ क्लास इंटरवल इज द लोअर लिमिट ऑफ इट्स सब्सिक्वेंट क्लास इंटरवल such a frequency distribution is called a continuous frequency distribution table. There are two types of distributions. The first one is called an inclusive type frequency distribution. In the inclusive type, the upper limit of a class interval is included in the interval. The second type of distribution is called the exclusive type frequency distribution. In the exclusive type, the upper limit of a class interval is not included in the class interval. For example, the value 6 is not included in the interval 4 to 6. It is included in the next interval, which is 6 to 8. After collecting or obtaining the data, it has to be presented in a meaningful form which is easily understood and gives the main features at a glance. Before we learn how to present the data, let us quickly understand a few terms related to it. Look at the sales figures we saw earlier. This is the original form in which the data was obtained. Any data obtained in the original... Okay, beta. तो रो डाटा के बारे में आज आपने हैंडलिंग डाटा के बारे में देखा था कि किस तरीके से डाटा कलेक्ट किया जा सकता है कि हमारी आज की सेल्स कितनी हुई जनवरी में फरवरी में कोई कार सेल्स कर रही हैं जनवरी फरवरी की डिफरेंट डिफरेंट पूरे मंथ पूरे ईयर की सेल्स हमने दिखा दी उसको हमने अगर किसी टेबल के थ्रू उसको शो ऑफ करेंगे तो वो कैसे करेंगे इस तरह से डाटा बनाकर रॉ डाटा अपना एक कलेक्ट कीजिए फिर उससे एक फाइनली डाटा तैयार किया जाता है उससे फ्रीक्वेंसी बनाई जाएगी तो इस तरीके से जो बनेगा उसको हम बोलेंगे बेटा क्या टेबल ओके ये टेबल्स के थ्रू हम सारी चीज़ शो ऑफ कर लेंगे तो लेफ्ट हैंड साइड में हमने बताया था अभी कि लेफ्ट हैंड साइड में जो टेबल हम एक बनाएंगे लेफ्ट हैंड साइड में तो हम क्या दिखाएंगे क्लास इंटरवल क्लास इंटरवल में लेफ्ट हैंड साइड में तो लोअर वैल्यूज दिखाएंगे और राइट हैंड साइड अपर वैल्यूज दिखाते हैं और बेटा उसके बाद उसकी फ्रीक्वेंसी निकालते हैं और उसके बाद उसकी क्या लिखेंगे फ्रीक्वेंसी को शो ऑफ करेंगे फ्रीक्वेंसी कैसे निकलती है कि मान लीजिए एक साल में फोर्टी एक महीने के अंदर फोर्टी सेवन स्कार आपकी सेल्स हुई हैं तो फोर्टी सेवन एक तारीख को फोर्टी सेवन एक तारीख को दो कार एक को तीन कार तो इस तरीके से वैल्यूज़ अगर होती हैं तो फोर्टी सेवन जितनी बार भी वैल्यूज़ आती हैं एक मंथ में मतलब मंथ में हो या उस टेबल के अंदर फोर्टी सेवन की वैल्यू जितनी बार भी आएंगी वो हम राइट डाउन करेंगे फोर्टी सेवन तो फोर्टी सेवन जितनी बार आया मान लीजिए सेवन टाइम आया तो सेवन टाइम उसकी वो फ्रीक्वेंसी हो गई इसी तरीके से सारी वैल्यू उसकी फ्रीक्वेंसी हम टाइम टू टाइम लिखते चले जाते हैं कि इतने से इतने टाइम में कितनी वैल्यूज़ हैं ये वो फ्रीक्वेंसी कहलाती हैं बेटा ओके बेटा फ्रीक्वेंसी के बाद उसका टेबल हम तैयार करते हैं इस तरीके से हम टेबल्स तैयार करते हैं ओके बच्चा रॉ डाटा सारा कलेक्ट करें कि रॉ डाटा किसे कहते हैं द डाटा ऑप्टेन इन द ओरिजिनल फॉर्म जो ओरिजिनल फॉर्म में डाटा हमें मिलता है उसको हम बोलते हैं रॉ डाटा 
उसके बाद बेटा आपकी सारा जो डाटा धीरे धीरे हम सारा कलेक्ट करके जब डाटा पूरा तैयार करेंगे तो उसको हम बोलते हैं आपका सारा डाटा स्टैटिस्टिक्स में ये आपका स्टैटिस्टिक्स की क्या है आपकी इंट्रोडक्शन है कि इस तरीके से हम डाटा सारा कलेक्ट करते हैं तो ओके बच्चे तो सारे डाटा कलेक्ट करने को हम कहते हैं स्टैटिस्टिक्स अब जब ये डाटा तैयार होके आता है उसको स्टैटिस्टिक्स तो ओ, इस आज के साथ इतना ही है नेक्स्ट क्लास में हम नेक्स्ट डी क्लास में नेक्स्ट करेंगे ओके बच्चे